Three, two, one, action. Welcome to the Wolf Patch and our first ever sew along. We've got Jen and Ting here in the background who are going to help us all with putting it together. Get your two shirts and we're going to. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we're starting our sew along. The first thing you do. I'm shaking like. Action. So. Uh, uh, Jed, my able helper here, has. Uh, right, stop that. <laughs> because you just held it right. Action. Hello, it's Stuart here from the Wool Patch, and welcome to our first ever sew along. We said we were going to do one, and here it is. We are going to be making an apron from two shirts. Here are my two shirts, two men's shirts. And then you can make the shirt, shirt with us. <laughs> and we're making an apron. Oh, no. And action. <laughs> We will be making the shirt, so sew along with us. <laughs> That's so rubbish. <laughs> Action. Hello, it's Stuart here from the Wool Patch, and welcome to our first ever sew along. We are going to be making an apron out of two old men's shirts. So I've got mine here. So, so get cutting out your material from the two old shirts ready. Join us and make this apron that we have here. How cool does that look? So make sure now you've got everything ready because next episode we will be starting on the skirt part of the pattern. So get all your pieces cut out. All that's in the description below with all the patterns and instructions too. So get them all cut out ready, but most importantly have the shirt part ready that's the first bit we're going to do so thank you very much for watching and i look forward to seeing you next episode right so we're now starting off with stage one now with your shirt front where we cut the sides that's now going to be a raw seam so we've got to make that look quite nice so we're going to do what we call a double hem so over there jen is literally doing a double hem now she will have folded in the edge a little bit, Jen, did you? A little tiny. Yeah, and then you go and give that a good crease with the iron. And then you're going to do it again and then pass it over to me and I'll sew it. Right, so we've had it ironed over. Thank you, Jen. You're welcome. So we've got uh, our quarter of inch seam. Uh, we've folded and then we've folded it again. Now, Jen, I've got pins. I don't normally do pins, <laughs> but we've got pins in to keep it into place, which you might want to do. So you can see it there. Is that, can you get close up? Can you see it? So there's now no raw edge. So I'm now going to sew that down. And I'm trying to keep us close. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Oh, that's a great old pin, that is. Is it a bit like a hat? Yeah, I think it is a hat. <laughs> Yay! That's fab, isn't it? Oh, here we are. So technically, that was the back of my shirt, and they were the seams that we cut, and then we just folded it over. So that will be a bit like that, wouldn't it? So next, we've got to do the, <laughs> you're telling me what, what is it that we do next? So <laughs> over the time. <laughs> Thanks, Jing. And action. So now we've got our front back uh, to uh, perfectly ironed by Jen. So we've got our nice seams there. So no raw edges showing. Leaves the top bit to do. And we're going to put the darts in top first. And the darts will like, Give it a nice bit of shaping, tuck it in a bit. Now, what we have to do is fold your top bit in half. Shaping at the front. Thank you. 
So what have you done there? You folded right. the first... The two top pins. Two top pins meet together. Together. And then fold the crease. So that's our two centimetres, basically, isn't it? Yeah, so you've got one either. Yeah. Either side. Oh, no. So if I was to put that out. Thank you. Round of applause. Hurrah. I'm going to do a second dart. Pin out. And that's our front done. Our first part of our sew along. I'll take that pin out before I stab myself. Look. Look at that. Woo. So that's our first sew along video complete. Join us for our next video where we're going to do our pockets on the front and the waistband. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> hope you come back for, for the second one. Uh, and uh, see you soon. Bye. 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 <laughs> so uh, our pockets and bias binding, about 15 centimetres of bias binding. And we are going to slowly lay the edge, the curved edge, on the inside, fold over and pin. Concentration on my face. Much better. Well done, Jen. So this was our finished pocket after we put the bias binding around the edge. In essence, what's going to happen is the pockets will be sewn top stitched down onto the, the uh, apron the bottom of the dart up as well. Uh, so something like that. One pocket. Hello and well, welcome to week two of our sew along. <laughs> Hello and well, welcome back to our second video in our sew along of making a sh no not a shirt. <laughs> it's an apron. It's <laughs> right. Try again. Right, we're still rolling. Ready and take four. Hello and welcome back to our second video in our sew along series of making an apron from two recycled shirts from your cupboard. We are working on our waistbands today. No, we're not working on They're our ties. Oh, ties. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Action. Hello and welcome to. What are you not laughing at? See, no! that, I'm trying to do this and I've got all the people laughing behind me. Welcome to week two of our sew along. Uh, and this week, it's all about the waist ties and the pockets. So we're going to start straight off. Do I need to do like a back? <laughs> You're not laughing at. I'm going to carry on even though they're laughing. So that's good. <laughs> that's good. I can see now. So with your waist ties, we are going to fold in half. <laughs> they're giggling in the background. <laughs> But make sure you fold your waist tie in half with the outside facing out because we're going to turn it inside out. <laughs> what are you not laughing at? You can tell me. It's my fault. <laughs> it was the now, idiot holding up the idiot. We're, uh, <laughs> upside down. <laughs> now we're making this into a tube. So we need to sew as close to the edge as possible, and then we have to turn it inside out. Now a tip, 
because it's a pain to turn that inside out or right side out. We're going to just put a safety pin in with a bit of string and we'll pull the string to help it get the right way. Right. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to stop. Paper and I safety pin it low down. Just in there. Fold in half like so. Strings in there ready for turning out and go as close to that edge as possible. And that's what we're now going to sew. So and now we can <laughs> that was Jen now we can hang on you pull we can now turn it the right way out <laughs> can you believe that you get that well that's your fault <laughs> <laughs> well, what? You can figure that out, right? <laughs> okay. I'm just going to pause that now. Pause now. Take two this time. <laughs> but, yes. Right. Now, my shirt is incredibly fine. So, you may want to do now a zigzag. <laughs> you got it, you so bitch. Right, now we're going to turn it right like that. So pull the ball. I can't think of these. I tied a knot in it! <laughs> so now we'll pull, hopefully, third time. Your handy sewing tips coming into play. Oh, right, here we go. I went that far. Poor thing, yeah. Oh, that's oh, it's easy. like a. Okay. Oh, my, that's a weird sensation as well. <laughs> oh. That's great. A very hard tip, but we'll see. <laughs> right, here's our second one. Oh, my pulley. going to press. So I'm going to pass it over to you, Jen, and if you can give that Thank you. press. Action. So now we have our tube that's been pressed nice and flat. You now need to get your waistband piece that you cut on your second shirt. Can you see all right down there? No? What? Huh? The other. Oh, the other side. <laughs> Thanks for that. Get your raw so to down that edge just to secure it in place. I'm going to pin and then I'll meet you back at the sewing machine when we sew. How are we going to do two? We're going to do one on the left, which I think you should be able to see. Can you see there? Ow! Yay! <laughs> Oh no, I didn't have any thread. <laughs> Let's do that one again. Okay, here we are. So that's the, the raw side that we're not going to see, but. Welcome.
welcome to our third installment of our So Along. I uh, hope you've all recovered from <laughs> last week with all those waist ties. Um, we are going to work on the bodice. Here it is. Really simple now, this top part. We are going to simply double hem our sides to make nice neat edges. And then we're going to use the same technique of the bias binding around the neck like we did on the pockets. So we're repeating some skills that we've already learned. So first thing we're gonna do is just iron over a double hem and then it'll come back to me to sew. So off you go do that. Thank you. All right. Oh, thanks, Jen. So this is now double hemmed, folded over twice. So there are no raw edges at all and pinned in. And I'm going to whiz down Here we are. So our bodice now has been hemmed nicely. And we're now going to work on the bias binding around the neck. So the same principle that you did with the pocket, get your bias binding. Leave an extra bit at the end because that helps as I find out with sewing. And you're going to pin it into place just like you did with the pocket right, oh there you are thanks jen <laughs> so i've got my bias binding pinned <coughs> to my bodice <coughs> Ooh, you're right, jen. <coughs> my able assistant is having a coughing fit <laughs> do you want to do that again oh. action so I now have my bias binding pinned to the neck part of the of the, the bodice. So now we just have to sew it down, just like we did with the pockets. So keep close to that edge, remember. Um, we want to try and get both, but don't go too close, otherwise you'll miss the edge. All right. So I'm going to pop that in. Done. So that's our bodice part done and uh, with our bias binding down. Uh, that's the end of that week. Join us for our last week, uh, for week four next week, where we piece everything together and finish our apron. Welcome to week four, the final week of our sew along apron from two shirts. We are going to put everything together this episode, but before we do that, we have to do the neckband, which obviously is going to go around. Again, it's the same principle as the, the waist ties. So you've got your neckband strip. We're going to fold it in half and we're going to sew all the way down the edge but remember we're going to use our little tip <laughs> which we're, we're, we're quite good at now which is paper clipping uh, safety pinning the piece of string in the middle of that so that's what I'm going to do now so get your sewing machines out and get sewing along right I'm going to do that put that on lick my tip <laughs> So your, your dirty minds then just collapsed in a fit of hysterics, and that. Right, I'm going to pull this back on it. So. Right, Jane, do you want to hold that? Fifth time lucky doing this. Yes, yes, it's working. Yay! <laughs> Boom! Oh, that's so, so stressful. <laughs> Can't believe how many times it took to do that before. So we're now going to do the, the neck band. So this is your strip of neck band material that we made right the, uh, earlier. Um, we <laughs> so now we're virtually ready to finish off. We've got our strip for our neck band. Uh, pinned to one side of the top of the, the bodice pin because we're going to sew across 
and then we're going to zigzag the edge pretty much like what we did with the uh, the other edges when we were down here okay so I'm going to do that and then the same to that side okay Stages left. That's it. Good as that. Right. I shall cut some of my threads for once. What? Well, I'll go around. Sorry. Right. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, just cut that thread. Right. Well, let's get it onto the model because there is nothing else left to do. So. Follow me. Should we bring her around there? Bring her. Oh, sorry, Peggy. How's that? the end of our sew along right we got there three of us we got there i hope you've enjoyed it um i have to say i'm quite impressed with that we would love to see what you make you must tag us and comment below we want to see your aprons but very impressed so <laughs> hope you enjoyed watching and we look forward to reading about what you've done and seeing your pictures thanks very much Bye. Bye.